What's holding silver below $20 an ounce? Well, I'm going to give you my reasons on Yankee Stacking. Thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. <laughs> Why is silver below $20 an ounce? Hmm. Well, I think there are many excuses or, or reasons. Some are more believable than others for me. Many people blame price manipulation. Oh, those banksters. <laughs> They're playing games with our silver. They're forcing the price of silver down. That's the real reason. Well, I don't think that that's really the reason why we're seeing sub $20 an ounce silver. Personally, I think they don't care if price goes up or down. They're manipulating it for the trade. That's what they're doing. They're, they're playing the trade. If it goes up, great. We can, we can manipulate it up and make something. If it goes down, fine. We'll get a quick return on our investment. That's what I think is happening when it comes to price manipulation. I know J.P. Morgan. I saw, you know, I see the, the news. I, I get it. But I think wholesale, widespread manipulation, I don't think that's what's significantly repressing the price of precious metals. I, I just don't buy it. You know, another uh, reason or excuse that I hear often is that it's, it's, it's those millennials. <laughs> we love to blame the millennials, okay? They're, they have an inability to, to invest in general, and, and they just hate precious metals in particular. Yeah, I don't know. I, I do think it's funny to see how the word gold seems to, to resonate less with those under 40. The old adage that something is the gold standard or, um, or maybe the idea of receiving the silver medal in an event at the Olympics, say. Eh, yeah, those concepts, I guess, mean less and less to the younger generations. Uh, speaking of which, I, I heard my, my favorite millennial in our community, Silver Dragons, say that he thinks platinum is more special sounding than gold. I, you know, whatever. I, I don't blame millennials at all for why silver is below $20 an ounce. No, I, I just think they, they don't have the inclination or, or, or education, or at least they don't have the discretionary income to buy silver. Never mind gold. So now, it's, I don't think it's the millennials' disinterest in silver. Um, but speaking of millennials, I have heard something else uh, as, a, as a possible reason why silver is so low. And that is crypto, okay? The millennials seem to have jumped on board crypto, Bitcoin, other altcoins. And, and I get it, all right? I, yeah, Bitcoin, Litecoin, altcoins, whatever. Yeah. They're the currency of the future. No, 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 check that. They're the currency of now. Yeah. <laughs> Get on board, baby. <laughs> the Bitcoin train is leaving the station. Mm. No, I, and, and I'm not going to launch into a, a Yankee rant as to why I think this current crop of a cryptocurrency is crap. <laughs> but suffice it to say, I do not believe crypto is keeping silver down. You know, in times of trouble or duress or risk, uh, crypto is not where you're going to want your money. See, the real rush to safe haven assets is and will be gold, followed by silver. The real reason that I think we have silver under $20 and consistently under $20 is that we now have two economies, one real, one fake the real economy is driven by production, manufacturing, making things, savings. How quaint is that, right? <laughs> that economy is suffering badly. In fact, the recent Institute for Supply Management Report, or ISM report, showed a contraction in our manufacturing sector that has not been seen since June 2009. At the tail end of the Great Recession, the ISM number, okay, for the last four months in a row has been below 50. Now, 50 and below, 
okay? Below 50 is bad. That's a contraction, okay? Above 50, that's an expansion. That's good, okay? November's number was 48.1, okay? It was contracting. The expectation or consensus for December was that it would rise. It would go up to 49.1, still below 50, still a contraction, but not as bad. It was 47.2. That is horrible results. So, so don't let the, the pundits or, you know, when the mainstream media or even in the government fool you into thinking everything is awesome. It's not. The real economy, the one that really matters, sucks right now. And it has for a while under both Democrat and Republican administrations. The fake economy, okay, is based on the assumption that the Fed's money injections into the financial system and those suppressed interest rates worked. They saved us from a horrible, life-altering crash. That is flawed logic, folks. And most Americans believe that flawed logic. They, they believe that after the economic crisis of 07, 08, and that resulting Great Recession we had, the Fed landed the burning plane of the economy. They landed it. And, and let me let me give you an imagery here that that I think might drive the point home. Okay, imagine you're sitting in first class, right up front, at the beginning of 2018, and and outside the plane windows, three out of the four engines, previously on fire, are smoking ruins, completely dead. All right, but up front, you watch as our Federal Reserve pilots pop champagne, celebrating a successful landing after a really frightening trip. What? <laughs> We're still at 38,000 feet. Yeah, yeah, you tried coasting down to 37,000 feet, but, but the plane started to rattle like an epileptic, and you had to reverse course and pull back on that yoke hard and bring us back up. Well, we're running on fumes now. And a repo tanker plane just showed up attempting to do what has never been done before to a commercial plane. Inject fuel mid-flight. That, that flawed and incredibly st stupid belief is what's driving the fake economy and keeping silver under $20 an ounce. That's my belief. But Yankee, come on, the employment numbers, they're good. What are you talking about? Well, those employment numbers are highly fake. And, and they're only trailing indicators of the real economy. Remember, the, the employment numbers, they were awesome right before the financial collapse in 2007. But, but Yankee, we don't have any inflation. The CPI is fine. Well, those CPI numbers, they're fake too. Okay, and what starts as currency inflation by the Fed leading to asset inflation in the financial sectors is about to be unleashed as price inflation soon. Oh, but Yankee, if you could have seen my last 401k statement for the year, it was phenomenal. I mean, the stock market went up. Hello. The S&P 500 made 30% last year, Yankee. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> the wealth effect, right? That psychological feeling of euphoria you get when, when you rip open your, your, your monthly statements, right? And you see your paper wealth rise. <laughs> I heard my mother-in-law's husband simply gush over how his, you know, paper wealth had risen uh, when we were talking over the holidays. It, it gives a false sense of security, okay? And it helps encourage more spending. Spending, folks, that's what the fake economy desperately and increasingly needs. But, but this wealth effect can turn on a dime. I've seen it do that many times in my life. 
And it's also interesting to note that during the same time the S&P 500 rose 30% in 2019, gold stocks rose over 40%. Hmm. Seems like there's some smart money out there getting prepared, don't you think? So the real economy is in turmoil. It's only a matter of time. And I believe a short matter of time until the true nature of the real economy is seen by the masses. The truth is that is why silver is still under $20 an ounce. Two economies, the fake one and the real one. Which one are you following? Leave a, leave a comment uh, below in the uh, in the comment section i'd really like to hear what you think of this video uh, check out the description of this video for some more information uh, also some really really cool links that i've uh, recently put in uh, that you know shows some of the things that i use for my channel um, some links for stacking some links for prepping i think you'll find it interesting and remember this okay this is a fantastic opportunity for all of us to be contrarians, okay? To stack silver and gold hard. This may be one of the few times we see silver under $20 an ounce. And this is the perfect time to stack it. Thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, I hope your day is a okay.